Okay, just going to do a, a quick uh, tutorial on how to develop a menu system in Unity. Um, you can see this is kind of my basic design um, that I'm going to go with. It's important you start using uh, diagrams to kind of get an idea of how your game is going to flow. And so um, hopefully this can turn into a package that you can export as a Unity package and then kind of be able to use um, for other games as well. Uh, just by eliminating these few buttons uh, when you actually get to your real game. So basic setup is this start menu uh, with start and quit buttons. Quit obviously takes you out of the game. Start should take you to level one. Uh, right now instead of gameplay we're just going to have a win and lose button. Um, obviously if you win the game then that should take you to a win screen uh, then with a play again button. And then if you lose obviously again same kind of thing. Take you to a lose screen with a play again button and then back to um, the start menu. Uh, and that's it. So um, let's get started. First thing, uh, open up Unity. Obviously it's going to open up our last project. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go File, um, New Project, uh, and we're just going to call this, uh, let's just call it Start Menu. Uh, because we, we may use this and import it to uh, another project, but we're just gonna just make it simple. It has a purpose, and that's just kind of to get a menu system here. Uh, maybe we'll call it actually menu system might be a better name for this project. So we're gonna hit create. Uh, we'll get a new project here, um, and hopefully get that set up. So. Uh, first thing I guess I'll, I'll create my first scene so let's right away save that first scene so save scene uh, the first scene we want to be called start menu and we can go with that there now we want to add probably a little bit of text to this uh, just so we know what scene we're on so let's go up to game object and go UI text and you're gonna add in um, I'm gonna call this intro text and I'll make it one word uh, and then down here we will call it let's see uh, start menu really simple uh, now obviously I'm, I don't even can't even see my text yet I'll, I'll zoom out here and see where the heck that is uh, they all seem to put the text fair ways out of the canvas and then also have it uh, with a color that doesn't really appear very well. So uh, let's change the color right away to, I'll just change the color to white for now, uh, just so we can see it on that background. I'm gonna center it. Uh, I'm gonna up the font size to, I don't know, let's go, let's go fairly big, let's go 50. Now you can see it disappeared when I did that. I'm gonna drag this into my canvas. And I'm gonna scroll out. And I'm gonna drag it to the center of my canvas. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to resize it so I can I can actually see that text and you can see as soon as I have it a more reasonable size I can do that and I'll just move that to the middle this isn't going to change we're not going to do anything with this uh, text object so it just needs to be there um, I'm just going to try and center this get used to using the different kind of Unity tools as well so start menu easy stuff so uh, next thing that we're going to Sometimes I like to create um, my buttons from scratch from actually text objects um, and then just add button script to them. But in this case, let's just, we're not really focused on UI here. We're just focused on kind of getting a menu set up. So let's go um, and click on button. Let's add a new button here. And you can see it added that um, there. And I want to grab something where I can move that around. Let's grab this tool actually. And I'm going to move my button just to the middle there. Uh, the text object within that, I'm just going to quickly change that to start, or start game would be more appropriate. Um, so we can have a start game button, and then I want to click back on the actually button itself, and I want to name that button, start button. And then from here, um, I want to go down and I can see Okay, this is my button, and I want to add something to this on click event here. So we're going to get around that in a second. Um, while we're still at it here, let's, the other button that we needed, if you take a look back at our game design, just quickly, 
Uh, we also need a quit button, so let's add that in right now too. Um, so the easiest way for me to do that would just be uh, to copy and paste. Copy, edit, paste. And we now have a new button here. Now you can see my first button, I had a problem naming it because when I went to name it, I obviously didn't hit enter. So I'm gonna start button and I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna take that as a name now. And then I'm gonna click on my second button. I'm call, gonna call my second button quit button. Uh, just so they're different. Make sure I spell that relatively right. And then I want to go within the text object of that second button. Again, hit enter. And with this text object, I want to change that to, I'm just going to call it quit. And we should be good there. Click back on my button. Uh, you can see that I had them over top of each other. I'm going to shrink this one down a little bit. I want to make it, people want to play the game rather than quit the game. Um, so we'll make that start button just a tiny bit bigger. Uh, and that's our basic kind of first menu. Now, um, probably to save myself a little bit of time, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate my scenes and just kind of rework uh, what's said between them. So let's take a look at what the next, next thing I need to do is level one. It also has two buttons. So if I duplicate um, that start menu, I should be able just to change properties here and I should be set up. So let's go to that. Um, so the next thing I want to do, I want to click down here, and then I want to go edit, duplicate. And it's going to give me another start menu here. Uh, what I want to do with that is I want to rename that to level zero underscore one. Oh, level underscore zero one, sorry. Uh, which I had there. Now, make sure that I'm on that level, so double click. Do you want to save the start utility? Yes, say yes. Uh, and then double click on that. Now, we'll probably zoom way out. That's why I can't probably see anything. You know what? Uh, before I duplicate, I'm zoomed way out on this one. I should have saved my start menu before I duplicate it. So let's, uh, we're going to do a few things. We're going to, first of all, let's delete this. Delete. So that's going to delete that. Now, let's make sure we, now that this is saved, make sure that it's saved. So go save scene. And then now let's go up and duplicate it. Uh, because now we want to duplicate with the kind of all the buttons and stuff that we set up. So now if I click down here and rename this level underscore zero one. Uh, now when I click on that level, it's going to look, if I double click on it, you can see um, that's what we have up here level zero one you can see that's open um, this is now that new level but it's got the same components to it so intro text we can leave that the same uh, we're not gonna call this start button now though we're gonna rename that um, if you look back at the diagram as the win button and then inside of there we had actually if you remember we had a text property and let's change our text property to win doesn't matter what the name of that text is right now win and then on our second button there uh, let's just rename that and you can see I, I obviously didn't hit enter again in the inspector uh, win button enter so now we have win button text is now win quit button we would rather that be called lose button and hit enter and the text within that of course we want to change that to lose I'm not sure why we want to click on lose but this is just a demo demo of the menu so uh, we can go lose there uh, hit enter again and then we got that text set and obviously the name of this um, we can leave it as intro text but we want this to be called level one so we have level one set up there Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we look back at our diagram. And what what do we need as the next kind of scene or level? Um, make sure we save this as we as we go. Um, so I'm going to go down to my diagram quickly. Win, lose, and then now we need a win screen with only one button, and a lose screen with only one button. So let's well, we can still duplicate and just get rid of a button, right? Um, so let's do that. Back in Unity, so we have, we have that one set up. Let's just duplicate this level one. Click on it, make sure it's saved first, save scene, 
and then edit duplicate and this one we're going to call win and make sure we're double clicked on it so we make sure we have win open up here uh, and now we need to change our text so our intro text we want to change that to now you one exclamation mark um, we only need one button now so let's click down I'm gonna actually click on the lose button and, and delete it and then I want to click on that win button and on the win button I want to change win button to play again button and hit enter and that's named now I want to actually go into the text property of that though and change the text to play again uh, maybe you have a space there would be a good idea and so that's set up so that we could play again uh, and that looks pretty good again file save the scene now the next the next scene looks very should look similar to the win except it's got uh, um, except it's going to have obviously you lost right so here make sure we're saved again save scene make sure that that's happening and then edit duplicate and so now you can see it duplicated that and let's just call this one lose and then from there make sure you're clicked on the lose you can see I'm still on win here so I want to make sure I'm clicked on lose uh, change my intro text to you lost and we can leave that as is and then play a game should be just the same right so play a game button should be the same so those are gonna really look very similar um, so that should be set up we're good to go um, last thing I want to do kind of in in this kind of little section here is let's let's go down here and let's right click and let's make a new folder create folder and let's call this folder um, scenes call it levels whatever and then with let's just drag our scenes into that so let's put everything in here it's gonna let me drag that just a good idea to start organizing your assets um, when you're working if you think about a big project you definitely want to be organized okay so uh, let's go back to the start menu make sure we're on the start menu and check and see that up there uh, now we need to start wiring some stuff up so the first thing actually we need to add here um, we have the canvas we have our buttons is we need to add uh, we call a game object and we're gonna just go create empty the only purpose of this game object is going to be a level manager level manager and so you're gonna type that in make sure you hit enter um, I will seem to forget that and then the component the only real component that we're gonna have in this level manager is a script and so let's go add component and then go new script uh, and again let's just call that script level manager and then we can go from here uh, with C sharp is the language that we're using so uh, create and add and now we should have a script created in our assets if we kind of take a closer look here to at our assets okay uh, right away let's just go create folder and let's make a folder called scripts and then we can take our level manager and drop that in there okay good stuff uh, now we want to actually open up that script so let's just take a quick look at how we're doing for time here and then we'll take a look at that okay so it looks like we're running out a little bit of time here so we're going to take a look at this script uh, in the next tutorial uh, you can just double click and open that up and I'll see you uh, then as Mono Develop opens <laughs>